Hey guys, what's going on? Tough King 56 here, back to continue our Let's Play of Yakuza 0. Welcome, welcome back. It's been a while. If you remember last time, I got the shit kicked out of me by a Mr. Shakedown, as well as did a side quest with a Miracle Johnson, the one and the only, and that was kind of cool. We also befriended Miho, the shopkeeper, and she gave us our shop in Tenkaichi Street. So now we have nine out of the ten buildings in the Leisure District. So. What is on our plate today? Well, we did have an invitation from none other than the Electronics King to go over to the Sega High Tech land here and meet him up. And of course he has some business with us, so let's go and see what's up. Oh, and I see there's a welcoming party for us as well. And a mystery man going, yeah ha ha ha. Very interesting indeed, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know why everyone says that we, we look so stupid. I mean, we're kind of strong looking, but I don't know. It is what it is, I suppose. Aww. So what you got for us? Are you going to fight us? I suppose he needs some muscle to soften us up before <laughs> we go into the arcade. But they should be pretty easy, unlike the fucking shakedown. Oh my god. So, got some lackeys to take down here. We're going to... We're going to redeem ourselves here. So let's actually redeem ourselves by just going Berserko on these guys because I'm like not happy at all at the results of our last episode. And you want to punch me, that's fine. You can also deal with that. There we go, beautiful. We got you as well. Mr. Furia. Man, I haven't headbutted anybody like that in a long time. I wanted to make sure there were less people around here. So that I could actually finish them off. And not worry about guys coming from behind and hitting me like that in rush mode because I'm very vulnerable like that. Yep, as you can see. Beautiful. Ah, uh, it feels good to take out the lackeys like that. It is just such a load off when you win a fight after losing one. Maybe going to the shakedown in the park isn't good because there's like no items to use in that park. I think that's smart, right? Anyways, <laughs> we have a date with the electronics king here. And, I ooh, there he is. All right, all right. He's indeed the Electronics King. Boy. He certainly doesn't want to listen to us, that's for sure. Uh. The one who called us here, well that's tr that's true. Thank us? What do you mean? Did we, like, give him motivation? Ah, I see, so we're just giving him free entertainment. <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't expect it to be thanked either, to be honest with you. I thought he was just going to have more people in here to fight us. He did say he wanted to meet us here, so it didn't... Yeah, it's, it also was laid out that it was an obvious trap. However, at the same time, <laughs> it's smart that he wanted to get us on his turf. I mean, this is technically his turf. And of course he is a genius with an IQ of 190. So he wants to play us in video games, I see. You know, it's one thing to think that you're going to be this good at stuff and call us stupid and stuff and that you have a super high IQ, but then challenge me, a video gamer, to video games? Now that's, that's, that's another thing. Now, what, what, what video game? There's a bunch of video games in the arcade here. So what do you have for us? Why did he turn around? Oh, he wants to play us right away. 90. I see. Yes, we did have a karaoke battle, and we did beat him in the karaoke battle. Got an 87% in that one song that we've only been playing so far in karaoke. We haven't played anything else here. So he wants us to get a higher score from than him on the game OutRun. Okay. I've never played OutRun. It's a Sega game. But that also makes me a little bit nervous. 
I mean, I will accept your challenge. And we're going to accept it right away, clearly. Okay, so he wants to start. We probably should have saved before we came here, because we certainly don't want to lose a bunch of territory. But it is what it is, so let's figure it out. So we have to get a higher score here. So our area will increase 10% if we beat him 5 million points or more. The scores you get when competing against him don't count towards... Okay, well, that I suppose that makes sense. So we have to play this game that I never fucking played before, and that makes me a little bit nervous. Okay. So... Accelerate is on our circle here. Brake is X. Steer is left and right. Change gears is R1. Oh god. Okay, so I'm gonna have to probably control accelerate on the the right pad here. Okay, this is like really weird, but I guess I will see if I can do things here. Okay, so we have to insert a credit. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's like a bunch of different songs that we can choose here. Let's do Passing Breeze since it's the only one that's here. I just want to, okay, refresh myself with the controls. So, let us accelerate and get going here. I've never played this game like I said before, so I'm a little bit nervous. Okay. So it just seems like we have to go fast here. And avoid cars, I'm assuming, hence the name Outrun. But we'll... We'll see about that. I'm really nervous. There's a timer on our top left here. Okay, so this isn't so bad so far, but we have to be really careful here on these turns, it looks like. These are going to be the toughest part of this stuff here. We don't want to hit these cars. That would be detrimental, I'm sure. Crashing the car is not good at all. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I'm sure the turns are going to get tighter and shit, though, too. Oh, we slowed down a little bit there. Not so bad, though. We're doing pretty good in the straightaways. Catching up on our speed. Oh, I see. Okay. And you choose your stage by turning correctly. Or incorrectly, that is. We're making good time here. I'm not... I can't see my score. Oh, it's almost 2 million. Okay. So we're a third of the way there. This guy's gonna like drive into us. I'm having like flash forwards of these awful things here. Like crashing and dying. My heart's like going really fast. Uh, you obviously don't know that, but I'm actually really scared that we're gonna fuck this up. Can we blow by this guy in a straightaway here? All right, that's good. It seems like the turns are coming closer without warning and, and they seem tighter. Which is not necessarily a terrible thing. We just have to correctly... Okay, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Could do a little bit better here. We're closing in on the 3 million gap, which is good. We just have to make sure to get to the next stage, because I doubt we're going to get to the 5 million in this correct time here. Okay, blow by him on the straightaway again. Okay, it seems like we might make it here to this next stage. Desert stage, that's kind of cool looking. Oh boy, we're going really slow. We lost a lot of time there. Are we going to hit the checkpoint? Okay, we did. Okay, so as long as we stay stay cool, Daddy-o, we're going to be okay, I think. That's what I think, though. But whatever that means, I don't know. Okay, we're... Uh, I don't know, I'm starting to doubt it. I'm starting to doubt it. Closing in on the 4 million mark. Oh man, this is really not good. Pull by him on the straightaway, okay. Alright, we hit the 4 million mark. I'd rather go off the road than crash at this point, I feel like. Come on. We need a straight way to blow by some of these cars here. Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it in time, honestly. It's making me really nervous. Three, two, one. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. Oh, fucking ass. Oh no. 
Ugh, I wish we got retries. That's unfortunate. I've never played this game before, and I got pretty close. Fuck! God, you know, we're losing everything now. I'm feeling pretty shitty. <sighs> It's unfortunate, really. Not too happy about that. What can you do, though? Never played the game, so... No retries, like, fuck, you know, just a big middle finger from the game right now. <laughs> so, take all of our fucking territory, because you're a piece of shit. <sighs> okay, well, 10%'s not the end of the world, I suppose. All we have to do is get to 90%, so... That's whatever, you know? Oh, one more thing, huh? Die? Says who? Not everyone welcomes our efforts. Oh, okay. Nice little warning there for us. Okay, we can finally collect our funds now, though. It's been fucking forever. Ah, I wish I would have won that, though. It was so close. 250k away. There's a couple points where it got really dicey. I think the desert part was just not exactly what we should have done there but we did what we could right we gave it our best shot and it's not necessarily the most terrible thing in the world what somebody want to talk to us Is somebody mugging somebody in the alley over here i should have hear it all out of my right ear but i don't see anybody mugging anybody but maybe we can go down here and just check oh, okay good good i need to soothe my pain here by inflicting pain I feel like that would be the best option here. That delinquent's got a stun gun. Okay. I can deal with that. There we go. Yeah. Nina Mia. You're done. I'm gonna kick you while you're down. I'm gonna use that stun gun. To give this guy a little shock. <laughs> oh, how do you feel, friendo? Probably not so good. Let's go. Get up, man. I just lost the video games. I need to take out my aggression because video games make people violent and serial killers and terrible people, right? At least that's what the media would like you to think. It makes me feel better when I get to kick these people in the chest. Just saying. <laughs> Anyways, let's get our reward here. Slightly used swish watch, I guess. I've gotten better, but I've also gotten worse, so it's not terrible. Let's head back to our business, though. We haven't checked out the office yet. We've got some office feng shui. So I guess that's not terrible, right? We have a silver lining, if you will. We haven't been back to Marina in a while. These guys want to fight us, but I'm going to avoid that fight as best as I can. Okay, good. We successfully did that. Head back to our work here. Apparently the office has changed. But I'm not seeing it. Not at all, actually. Which is fine, I suppose. Maybe the floor has changed and my desk area has changed a little bit. But let's go and actually collect the payments that we were ready for for a while now. We're going to make back pretty much all the money that we were going to lose, or that we did lose from the Mr. Shakedown before. We're back to over... Oh, a money battle. All right, well, this is no problem for me. We'll just throw our money in here as much as we can. And we're going to get 1% back in our share that we lost. So once again, it's just the quest to 90% to finish off the Electronic King arc. As you can see, we've made no progress at all in those areas. So I'm going to go in here and invest in our new area here. This Tenkaichi Street outfit. Get us up to at least rank C, which is fine with me. Now, after this week, it seems like I'm going to have to change my staff because the economy of these are going down. Now, that's something I can explain a little bit later now that I understand some of these systems a little bit more, but I'm going to have to hold off on that just for now, unfortunately, so my apologies there. But I'm going to invest, as I always have done. But now we have some places to invest in as well. And new security for the area, too. Don't forget that. We're already back up to 70, so we're not missing it too much here. And we should be able to get some of this stuff up. Okay, that's good. Hopefully to rank S as soon as possible. 
Crazy Kill is so expensive, but he allows us to invest so much more, which is good for us here. What you got here? Oh, another restaurant, so we're going to be kind of far behind, which is the worst part. Our Mesochistic Man, of course, has the love rating. I don't know if I've commented on that before, but I find that rather humorous. There we go. Probably won't get us to rank A. Nope. Oh, but this is close. We'll get a rank S here. All right. I'll take that. 73% on that. And now we're all properly invested here, so that's good for us. So now we're back pretty much to square one, which is rather unfortunate. Let's actually talk to Yamanoi. We haven't talked to him in a while. What do you have to say for us here? Upgrading the interior. Oh, maybe this is what has to do with our feng shui. Okay. For free, huh? I hope he doesn't send me back to the shrine, which is exactly where I just was an episode ago or so. But it'd be kind of cool here. I do want to upgrade the interior. And I did upgrade it, right? Didn't I? Yeah, upgrade the interior here. We got our level 2 interior. Colored green or terra? Oh, we'll do cool red just to see what it looks like here. And then we'll switch to terrace green. It kind of looks pretty cool. Definitely a different look. I don't know if I want to keep this. Let's see what the terrace green looks like. Go back to terrace green here. Now, I hope this is really cool looking. Okay, this isn't so bad. I like the drapes. Cool is a very, or green is a very like cooler color here. Very environmental. I don't know. I think I'll keep it as the most upgraded form now. It being green. I don't know why this vaults here though either. I have, I forgot to talk about that before because I have no idea what the hell it is. But also, there is one sub story that we can talk about here, and that has to do with the dream, not the dream unfulfilled, our postcard here that we sent to the radio not long ago. So, postcard rookie Kiryu, let's talk to the radio and see if this guy wants to talk about one of our sub stories here. Showtime! Okay, so. Let's see if our postcard got on the air. Please, please, please. It'd be so cool if he read it. Oh, Judgment Kazi, let's see. Oh, yes, he got it. I love mailing in that one. Love your show, regular listener. A young schoolboy. Oh, yes, okay, so that's what it was going to be talking about here. That's kind of cool. I like how this element is left in the game for us to call back to some of the funnier, cooler sub-stories. It allows us to connect more with the game, which I really like as well. I do. I do play games here. <laughs> That's fantastic. Of course the father gave it back to him. But it's cool that he plays that up as well. So let us write another postcard sometime here. Cool. <laughs> and Kiryu got on the air. <laughs> he was caught. Substory number 25. Postcard rookie Kiryu is done. Not bad. Should we write another postcard before we go? I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah, let's write ourselves a postcard here. For 1 million yen, that would be kind of a good story. So... Let's see here, the Yokomichi Silvers, the Lesson S and M. Oh man, there's so many good ones here. Miracle Walk. Girlfriend with a Secret, that might be kind of cool one. I think the Miracle Walk would be kind of cool to talk about Miracle Johnson. <laughs> Kiryu, I love it, man. Oi. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's gonna, she's gonna mail it in for us here. Okay, do we have to think of another pen pal name? Oh, I guess not. Okay, well that's good for us. Okay, so we actually did quite a bit here. We lost at a game of Outrun, which is unfortunate. We lost some territory, but we also got some back in our real estate by upgrading it correctly, as well as we tested out a little bit of our feng shui capabilities, which is also kind of cool, as well as different. But I will have to catch you guys in the next episode where we cover probably back to the main story if I haven't grinded out more of the Electronics King. I kind of want to finish the Electronics King arc before I go into the next area, or at least the next quest, because I don't know when the next time I will be able to come back here. So anyways, guys, this has been DuffKing56 with our Let's Play of Yakuza 0. Have a great night, guys. Peace out. See you next time.